Thank you for taking a moment to look at this YouTube video. Here's what I want to tell you, that we challenged the church back in April that in 90 days, we wanted to raise $90,000 to repair our roof, to fix the end door uh, of our church. The ceiling has had damaged drywall. There's paint. It needs Places need to be painted. There's some leaking going on. And we challenged the church, help us raise 90000 in 90 days. And we did that knowing that we weren't going to borrow any money to do it. But our church, we needed this done. It was a need that God put in our hearts. And the good news is you guys stepped up to the plate. We were supposed to end the challenge next Sunday on the 8th of July, but instead we ended it today because not only did you guys give $95,000 instead of 90, you gave over and above, but you did it in a shorter amount of time. It did not take 90 days to raise it. So we decided we didn't want to borrow money for this. We didn't want to try to go into debt for this. All we wanted to do was raise this money, get this roof fixed so we can use this facility like it needs to be used. Right now, this facility is used for praise cares. It's used for day camp. It's used for children's ministry, used for men's ministry. It's used for all kinds of things. Kids church on Sunday morning, preschool, and we needed it. And you guys stepped up to the plate. And I want to say thank you very much for being faithful to the Lord, to stepping up and helping us make this happen. We couldn't have done it without you. I want to say thank you to the businessmen who gave and the businessmen who, who presented their out of their heart the importance of giving as a church. I want to say thank you to our young hearts who, who as our senior citizens group, uh, Sister Ruth challenged. She said, I'll give I'll match up to $250 if you give $250. She, would, she shared that with the senior citizens. And uh, as she did that, she didn't realize that they would do more and above that she could imagine. That instead of giving 500, which was her goal for the young hearts, they wound up giving over $1,300 to the roof. Sacrificial giving. That's how churches are built. They're built on sacrificial giving. They're built on people being sacrificial and how they live and, and how they serve the Lord. And businessmen, people, ordinary folks, folks that I know don't have a lot who made payments week after week after week, just a little bit at a time to make a difference. And I want to say thank you. It seems like a long time ago when we brought the big board out and all the envelopes you could grab an envelope. But you know, we did it. We raised it. We made it happen. God, to God be the glory. We believe his house is important. And we want to say thank you for giving to the work of God. Again, I just want to say as a pastor, I'm encouraged. I'm thankful to God. And I am thankful that God used you to make it happen. So again, thank you for your generosity. And we pray God's blessing on you this 4th of July. God bless you.